Yo, what's up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy LBM back another video tutorial guys Today I just want to show you how to create this smooth zoom transition effect inside the Premiere Pro Just like this If you like it, stick around So now let's jump on in Premiere guys. So guys, here I have some different clips, okay. I have two clips. So now click adjustment layer. So first you have to create the adjustment layer and then I have to drag it here above these faster clip guys, okay. You see how my timeline is. So now let me rename this adjustment layer guys. Let me call it tie. This adjustment layer called the tie so now go on the effect and then such effect called replicate so now drop it here on this adjustment layer so now you see i have to add the count three you see how my clip it is and then such another effect called mirror yo for this mirror it's gonna it's gonna make some mirror calls okay so for this angle guys I have to add zero first and then let me let me pull a one side it will be matches with this line okay yeah this this is for one side and then I'm going to to copy this mirror and then paste it again for adding some other sides okay so the angle it must be the angle must be a 180 so now and then you have to pull this number to combine with this line okay i've already combined two sides so now and then paste again this mirror again and then i have to add 90 angle okay <clears throat> so and you have to pull this number again for adding for this bottom bottom line okay yeah this is cool and then paste the last one which i'm going to add some top line so i have to add minus 90 angle for adding this line yeah this is pretty good yeah man so and after this i'm going to duplicate this adjustment layer so now by holding out and then move one truck above okay you see i got some many many stuff so now i'm going to delete those mirror effect for this above adjustment layer guys okay and then let me rename this adjustment layer called let me call it the scale yeah the scale in and go on effect then such other effect called the transform this transform is gonna gonna bump this effect guys okay then you have to drop it here on this adjustment layer guys okay so now come here on transform control settings when i add 300 you see it comes as default okay so so now come here on the beginning of this adjustment layer you add the keyframe with a 300 number and then you you jump on and the ending of this adjustment layer you add other frame which have 100 number okay so let's continue so come back here on this use composition shutter angles you have to mute it and then for this shutter angle you have to add when you got this this move of this shutter angle it comes so yeah when i play yeah this is good by my effect is going slow guys so i have to speed up the things i'm going to do i just want to def to decrease this adjustment layer because it's too long so first i have to reduce the distance between those two frames okay so and then i have to decrease my adjustment layer okay when i pray you see how my effect has this speed this is pretty so select those keyframes and then 
you have to right click here on it and then to click here to smooth it and then you can open up these settings of scale you can smooth it using this graph okay yeah this is pretty dope okay so when you play you see how these this move is going on yeah yeah this is perfect so now duplicate again at the adjustment layer and then you have to put it above of the second clip and then you have to rename it as scale out okay So now come back here on this effect control for this layer and I have to smooth it again as a possible so when I play look how it is man yeah this is pretty dope so when I play this is how my effect it is but for this second adjustment layer it is not fitting well with my frame so it's that reason why i have you see i got the black colors because because i don't want this black color guys okay so the things i'm gonna do i have to fit it well into my frame yeah there is some black okay you see i just want to remove this black which is a side for this clip okay so yeah, you have to smooth this adjustment layer well until this block it will be disappeared okay yeah this is pretty dope yeah this is cool well done okay so let me pray and let me see how it is yeah this is great yeah man hey I love this effect okay so now select this keyframe again okay then you have to to put it in the ending well for this adjustment layer yeah maybe this is pretty dope okay so now come here on this and then you have to create another adjustment layer guys and then i have to put it above for those two clips the first clip and second clip okay yeah okay so now click here on add this adjustment layer and then go on effect such the effect called rents destruction yeah let me call it uh, rents destruction destruction yeah yes let me find this effect where it is yeah no bro i miss it what is this effect please come on yes finally i got it so now drop it here on this adjustment layer okay and then come on the beginning of this adjustment layer and then add the keyframe for this curvature and then go on the middle and you have to pull like minus 50 okay and then go on the ending of this adjustment layer and then you have to add other keyframe as a default zero okay when you pray and then let me see how it is the creep it will be something which like zoomed in zoom in and zoom out and you have to click here to smooth these keyframes okay so guys this is how you can create this smooth transition bro guys if you like my video please don't forget to subscribe like share and drop your comment down below thanks for watching and see you next video peace